Well, tonight, a $50,000 reward is being offered for information linked to the deadly shooting of a pregnant woman and her unborn baby. She was shot after leaving her own baby shower last night. Action News reporter Katie Catro joins us live from police headquarters with the latest, including word today from the victim's family. Katie. And while your sources confirm that that woman's name is Jessica Covington, they say she was seven months pregnant when she was gunned down last night. The search continues for whoever is responsible for her murder. Community members are outraged after a pregnant 32 year old woman was gunned down on the 6100 block of Palmetto Street in Lawncrest Saturday night. Neighbors say they heard the terrifying shots. Like boom, 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 like maybe about nine shots. Police say the victim was shot in the head and stomach while unloading gifts from her own baby shower from her car into her house when she was shot outside. Her unborn child didn't survive either. It has literally hit home and I'm scared. I'm literally scared for my life. Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw released a statement that reads in part, this heinous crime has sent shockwaves throughout the country and also highlights the intentional lack of regard that we are seeing for humanity. As Philadelphia approaches 500 homicides so far this year, several local organizations joined together today to unveil a new strategy to curb the violence. The plan targets two so-called hotspot zones in North Philadelphia and West Philadelphia, where the violence is especially bad. Organizers are calling for a one-week ceasefire in those areas starting tonight at midnight. And we must have a heart that will come with an undying love towards, towards our brothers and sisters. And we are going to end the violence in our own communities. And we did speak with a family member who is too grief stricken to speak on camera. Police are still looking for whoever is responsible for that pregnant woman's death. Reporting live here at police headquarters, Katie Catro for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Walter. All right. Thank you, Katie.